problem number 242 lead code and before starting if you are new to this channel and you are watching this video first time please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon function is something similar uh, given to strings s and t write a function to determine if t is an anagram of s and the input is anagram diagram something similar what we saw earlier so it should return true okay so if we define uh, the array length of 128 and when we are iterating our string 1 and as soon as we encounter a we will try to increment the ascii value of a with 1 okay so as soon as we are encounter like it is basically a count of all the characters but we are counting the actual ascii value of it okay you can also solve it using hash map or hash tables but i am going to give you one approach which can help you without using hash maps and you can solve it using simple arrays also and it is quite a simple approach so here is that approach okay so as i have already told you there are 120 unicode characters are there so we have defined one care count integer array of length 128 and initially it it will all contain zero so this will this will basically as dot caret of i this will basically returning the ascii value of this small a and since it will only be vary between 0 to 127 this value will only be exist between 0 to 127 it will be filled inside the care count at that index and we are incrementing it with 1 right? because initially it will be 0 and as soon as the we encounter again a we will again do a plus plus now for those who doesn't know what ascii characters uh, what ascii values are so basically for each and every character which you can see in your keyboard computer uh, stores those into some specific numbers you can say values and those values will vary from 0 to 127 so whatever you see characters in your keyboard like question mark inverted co co commas uh, brackets square brackets so for all of these there is a specific value which computer understand and converts it into the ascii value so let's see it from a visual point of view so here you can see we have one array from 0 to you can say 127 okay and here in in middle some uh, we have 97 98 which is actually the ascii value of small character of a and 98 is the ascii value of small character b so initially it will be 0 0 right and as soon as we are saying we have encountered uh, we have encountered a here you can see for anagram we have encountered a so we will increase its count from 0 to 1 so this line is doing that let's do that okay so here we will say we have incremented to 1 right likewise we will do for n so here in anywhere in middle there will be for one of the n value so we are going to do it incremented to 1 okay so 
in this for loop we are just incrementing the ascii values inside that array which i have shown you now in this other for loop where we are iterating the t string here what we are doing so we are maintaining only one single array of integer which is char count now here if you have incremented it so initially it was zero but in the sixth line of your program we are incrementing each character's ascii value from zero to something like uh, how many times it occurs right now what if if you try to decrement it and once you get the value as zero of let's consider of a okay so here a like of when we iterate this for loop what will be the a's ascii's ascii values count it will be 3 so it will be 3 okay so after after this first for loop this value will be 3 now when we are trying to iterate our second string and here also the uh, a occurs three times right so first it will be two first then it will again come one then it will again we come to zero okay so a's actual value will be zero so likewise we have to iterate our second string and try to see if all those values are zero that check we are doing it here so we are iterating our main integer care count array, array from 0 to 128 and we are checking if any of them is not zero then just return a false there itself because if it is not zero that means basically uh, the character count is not similar right that's why uh, it is not equal to zero else we will return true because these all condition uh, th uh, this condition will never set will never satisfy that's why default we are returning as true and friends this approach is a generic approach to do a character count you can use this approach as it is and to check uh, what is the character count and uh, yeah you have to eliminate this part because here we are also decrementing it but if you only want the care count you can just do with this three four lines of code okay so let's try to submit this uh, run this code and try to see okay so it got accepted now try to submit and see what is the difference it's making from big of n log n to big of n so this solution is big of n and the space we are utilizing is big of one so I'm again submitting it is giving some different runtime and, and the different memory usage but but guys this is the efficient solution because this is a big of n and big and a constant space we are not using much space the just the 128 character length is there so yeah that's pretty much for this solution i hope you like all the three approaches and it will definitely help you in solving any anagram problem so the next problem that we are going to see it will be a group anagrams under this lead code uh, section please do let me know in the comment if you have already solved it or which approach you find it easy to understand and the best please uh, let me know in the comment so yeah that's it for today